Today's video is sponsored by Mist Play. More on them later. In these miniature mystery boxes of craft kits, we can make everything from tiny plants like you see over here. And we also get a display case, but not only that, it looks like we can make small birdhouses too. I'm really curious if we're going to be able to build the birdhouse or if the birdhouse comes pre-built and we just kind of stuff everything in there. But I also see a different kind of plant and a bird feeder as well. And it looks like we can get other decorations here. Now these were actually really hard to find. I couldn't find them anywhere online, but as I was browsing Walmart at some point when I was walking, there was a box right there. And even though the price tag on the original website says $6.99, this is US. In Canada, I paid $8.99 and we have eight of them plus 15% of the taxes. Can the editor take out your calculator and do some calculations? So as you can see, this set cost me more or less around $80. In a previous video, we did Miniverse Lifestyle Series 1. However, not to be confused with this one, though I am personally confused too, because this is Miniverse Lifestyle Home Series 1. So it's starting to get a little confusing, unless this is Wave 2 of Series 1. I don't know, we're gonna find this out together. For those of you who don't know Miniverse, they are a mystery box of miniature crafts that give us small ingredients and materials, and we can turn them into finished products, as you see here on the screen. But let me know in the comment section below what kind of tiny home decor would you like to see in one of these series? I personally would love to see a lava lamp that actually does light up. I know that would be a little bit more expensive, but maybe they can make a special series that is a little bit more intricate. Call me Miniverse. I got ideas. And while you're telling me, and while you're telling <laughs> and while you're letting me know what you would like to see, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and click on all notifications while you're there, which will turn into a grain of salt in the salt shaker family. This is just skizzers. N no, don't worry about it. I got you. N no. By the way, did you grains know I have my very own craft kit? And this kit is a bear pour acrylic paint kit. As you can see, you get tiny bears that you can turn either into keychains or put them on your bags or backpack while totally customizing them to your preferences. As you can see, Mariah Elizabeth and Hope Scope both had fun with these kits. I will link their videos down below so you can take a full watch. And you can either customize these bears with air dry clay or go straight into the acrylic pour part, which is obviously the fun part. And you can make so many different color combinations and even customize them with detail brushes that also come in the kit. This one really does have everything you need, including six mini bears, eight ready to pour vibrant color paints, silicone trays, spatulas, mixing cups, gloves, stirring sticks, and even a divider cup where you can put up to five different colors so they don't mix and match together. And a custom foldable metal rack that we made specifically for this kit so the bears can hang dry. And even a mat for your desk. A full list of everything inside will be on the website, but you can really customize these bears to however way you like, and it is so fun and it's really hard to stop. And especially now that we have a promotion for you for 15% off until March 15 with using the code BEARBEAR15. Did I mention you also get a sticker pack in there with nine to collect plus one holographic? And if you get the golden card, that is the golden ticket. And I will list the prizes that you can get with the golden ticket, including choosing my next vlog. Thank you again eternally for all the support you guys have been giving me. And I'm just excited to share this project with you. And the goal for today is going to be to unbox at least three or four different projects for this video. Since these are mystery boxes, we don't know exactly what we're going to be getting. So let's move these on the side. I'm just gonna move this over here. Second. Voila. And I know many of you love these mini verses and they've just been pumping out so many new different products. I'm hoping to see different products come out as well. But for now, let's enjoy these tiny figurines. So as you can see, I did say this says home series one and they let us know that there's 12 to collect. So we do have eight. Hopefully we'll get eight different ones, but that is to be seen. And since I do love birds, I really would love to see for me to get a bird type craft. Come on, you could do it. Okay, I give up. <laughs> I 
And our first project, oh, okay. Oh my goodness, look at that. These are so pretty. So let's just take everything out because I'm getting ahead of myself. So we have one, two, three, four items, as well as the guide to tell us what's inside this entire set. And of course, instructions, which we don't need because I am a professional. How much of a professional? I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not showing off. <coughs> I am showing off. <laughs> I've made so many different projects with resin and I've played around even with frozen moment type to make this project over here. And even in the ice cream versus pizza, we made a melting pizza slice that is also floating in the air, as you could see on the screen here. So instructions are not always for me. I mean, even if I needed instructions, I usually don't try to read them. <laughs> I promise I'll get better at that. But before we see what our project is, let's see what we can, oh, my, oh, oh, okay. All right, so it opens this way. So it looks like we can get quite a few different plants. Peonies, 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 peonies. <laughs> I am not a flower person. Feel free to correct me in the comments on how to pronounce it. Birds of paradise, baby's breath. Doesn't that smell like milk? Doesn't baby's breath smell like milk? That's how I would interpret it, I'm guessing. Never really sniffed a baby's mouth, now that I'm thinking about it, should I be sniffing baby's breath? <laughs> what? And now we're getting into bird projects. Here we have a cardinal. It looks like we actually have to build everything. That's exciting. Chickadee bird feeder, an orchid, hummingbird feeder. That's cool. We even get a hummingbird. Hanging pothos, 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 pilia pear. I'm sure I'm gonna get yelled at in the comments. That's okay. You can yell at me. I know it's out of love. I'll interpret it as love. <laughs> a fiddle leaf fig, interesting, and a monstera. I know a lot of people love monsteras and they're like super expensive, so here we go. I'm noticing something here, but I'm not gonna say anything. I'm not gonna say anything. We're gonna wait until we get there. Actually, you know what, I'm gonna say it now. In previous kits, resin was the main factor for these mystery boxes. You got to learn a skill and do something new while not being intimidated by the medium itself. From what I'm noticing with these lifestyles is that resin is not always included, which means some of these are just projects that you can pick up from the dollar store and make them for way cheaper than the price tag that we're paying. Would be nice if they could actually level this up a little bit more. Then again, let's not get ahead of ourselves because I feel like the first one actually has resin. And for those of you who don't know UV resin, it's basically a liquid when hardened, whether it's UV light or sunlight, turns into a glassy plastic type material. And we could do all sorts of things from different kinds of soups, cake frosting, and everything in between like juices, drinks, and whatnots. We even had a previous series where we did the appliances. So if you wanna watch those videos, Videos, I will link them down below. And our first mystery looks like a vase. It says just add flowers. Okay, let's open you up. It's a really cute shape if it's actually this shape. Oh, look at the little the little paper here. My goodness, that is a cute color. I really like the shape of this one. We'll put you here. And there's even more protection at the bottom. Why do I like tiny boxes? I don't know. There's something about tiny boxes that just does it for me. Next, we saw here the flowers. So I'm thinking these are the peonies. Peonies? Kitty editor, just, just put it on the screen here. How are we supposed to say this right? Peonies. So let's take these out. And I love the fact that they're wrapped. Oh, look at that. That's cute. They really are wrapped like you got them from a flower shop. I love this. I love the tiny details. So here we have two stems. Next surprise. Oh, okay. We have, what are you? Oh, tw tweezer things. And not sure what this is. We'll figure that out later. And then another handle thing. Anything else? No. And the next mystery bag here is, here's the resin, isn't it? This is the resin and it is water, fresh water, allegedly. Sourced from 100% happy mountains. That's good, very cute. Again, sourced from 100% happy mountains, all the way around, fresh 100% H2O. And if we look over here, we should see the instructions right in the back. So let's, aha. Uh -huh. And the back tells us, oh, to cut the stems off, okay, put our resin in and then put the plants in and then harden it for five to 10 minutes. I got you, we could do this. Though I'm kind of wondering what these are. I have no clue. Is this supposed to go in here? Oh, it is. Okay, so we're supposed to have a display case by adding these in here. I think so, am I doing it wrong? Probably. Okay, there you go. One foot in, the other foot in, and voila. Now we have a display case. Sometimes I'm smart. Usually I'm not. So first thing we need to figure out is what length, oh goodness, that is really way too long. We're gonna have to cut out, I'm gonna say probably a good bit of the bottom. Hang on, let's try that. 
I feel like this much <laughs> is good. Is this good? Maybe more. We, we, could, we could do more. Let's cut a little bit more, like so. Maybe too much. We're gonna stuff you in here. There you go. I think that's a good length. Oh goodness, do not fall. I have a feeling we're gonna have to hold this in place while it hardens. I think that's a good length. And let's have to stuff it. Do I need to stuff you? Let's do one at a time. Can you go in? This is touching the bottom. I feel like I'm gonna put it a little bit more. Just a little, just a smidge more. Like so, there. That's good. And then this one can go like that. Oh, I love it. That's what I want. Now let's check out our resin. This is probably just going to be clear resin. I'm hoping it's not going to smell bad. Some of these really do smell bad and then others from the same series do not smell at all. So far so good. Do not sniff resin. These things are toxic. And it should be clear resin. Let's see you come down. Hello? Okay, she thick. She be thick, my goodness. And the instructions do say to fill it out about three quarters of the way up. So we're just gonna keep dripping. I should have sat on it. The resin is probably a little on the cold side. Voila, well that was long. So here is our water in the vase. Now we're gonna go ahead and stuff this one like so. Not move and stuff this one over. Oh my goodness, do not, do not spill. There, no, no, do not pop out. <laughs> we had an agreement. Stay here, stay. It's saying no, it is, it is not cooperating here. I want you here and I want, no. It does not want. Now here's the thing, if you had to harden this in the sunlight, you can't just stand there and wait for it to harden because it is long 10 minutes. However, I am a professional. I have a UV light. So this basically means it's just sped up and closer type of light that comes out of the sun. So instead of taking 10 minutes, it'll take us about two minutes. No, do not fall. No, no, that was a little close. All right, I'm just gonna turn this light on and let the UV light do its thing while I'm holding it. So we'll be back in two minutes. A few minutes later. And here we go after actually three minutes and it is staying in place. How lovely does this look? It looks like we do have an air pocket somewhere in the middle. It is quite warm because resin when it hardens, it's a chemical reaction so it does get warm, but our flowers are nicely in place. How cute? Very cute. And if we're going to put it in our little decorative space, here's what it looks like. This is cute. I could see this on, in someone's bathroom probably. It's just, it's tiny, it's adorable. It has its place as a decorative piece. As a resin project, definitely super, super beginner friendly. This is as basic and as friendly as it gets. Do you greens want to know how you can play new games and turn these games into points and turn these points into gift cards? The answer is yes. Yes, I want to know. Which is a perfect time to tell you grains about today's sponsor, Mist Play. Mist Play is a loyalty app for us gamers. Whether you're looking for a little help covering some of your hobbies, whether it be art or crafts, Amazon purchases, daily coffees, yes, even Fortnite Battle Pass. With Misplay, you can earn rewards by simply playing and discovering mobile games. Misplay has a huge inventory of games, whether they be puzzle games, strategy, adventure, casual, and even cards. So you're sure to find games that tickle your fancy. And of course, the more you play, the more you earn. And through these points, you can redeem them for gift cards from your favorite places like Amazon, Walmart, Visa, Xbox, PlayStation, you know, to play more games, obviously, and many more. And you don't need to take my word for it. There are over a hundred million in gift cards that have already been redeemed through Misplay. And after a long day of work, I sometimes want to play something different just to change my mind. So having to browse through Misplay really makes my day and my mind just relax and browse and peruse and find new things. So what are you waiting for? Check the QR code available right here, as well as the description box below and pinned comment, or visit misplay.com forward slash nerdycrafter, where you'll get 200 points for signing up today, plus use my code nerdycrafter50 inside the app for an additional 50 free points, which will help you towards redeeming your first gift card. Again, that's misplay.com forward slash nerdycrafter for 200 free points and use code nerdycrafter50 for an additional 50 points. Thank you, Misplay, for sponsoring a portion of today's video. And next, don't worry, I'm gonna go where the arrow is this time in case some of you wanna say, but Jake, you're doing it wrong. Listen, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but here's the arrow. 
maybe I was doing it wrong. <laughs> you know what? This was just a practice one. We'll see if the others follow. <laughs> and what do we get? Oh no, no. Okay, we have a double. We're, we're gonna put that back. Maybe if we get enough different ones, we can add more to, I don't know. Let's see, let's put this aside and try for the next one. Please be different, please be different. We get, okay, let's see. We have one surprise, two, three, okay. Four, cute, and five. Interesting, we get another plant. Instructions. All right, let's start with the plant itself. And here we have, oh, these are cute. I think we have the exact same plant at home. Maybe it's different, but they're kind of dangling plants. And it comes in a type of newspaper. Let's take a closer look at this newspaper. It's crumpled at the bottom. Oh, wow. Am I supposed to cut you out? I don't know. Am I gonna ruin this? No, I don't think so. There's a little elastic band over here. There we go. All right, you are free. Oh, it comes with little dirt. And if we zoom in a little bit more, we can see the roots of the plant over here. Pretty cool. And here's what the plant looks like. This is definitely a hanging plant, a droopy, droopy, droopy plant. And it's called the hanging pothos. 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 Next surprise, we have Happy Grow Co. And it looks like it is indeed the pot that we're going to be putting in. It says one hanging pot. It even shows like, Fragile symbols and this side up, recyclable, all of these things. What does it say here? Golden Trowel Award. Cute. Let's take a look at you. Yeah, that definitely looks a little bit more like a terracotta type plant. I don't know how it's going to hang. Maybe, we're, oh, okay. It has a little bit of a design. Maybe we're going to get strings for it to be a hanging type plant. And then here it says home sweet home. Let's see what we have. And you are. What are you? Okay, we have string. All this bag for string. It says let's hang. Okay, cute. Anything else? No. Next one, we have a plant on the outside. This is really cute. I love the art. It's quite heavy, so I'm guessing this might be the soil. You are indeed the soil. Perlite mix. Happy Grow Co. So here we have the soil. We're gonna take a look at that in just a few seconds. And the next one here says thank you. With the little sun wearing gloves around the garden. And you are, okay, so the legs, we have the trowel, I guess, some tweezer things, and the other leg for the decoration. And the decoration's part of the box, so we're just going to remove this. Oh, look at that! What? It actually has a hanging area. That's really cool. All right, so let's go ahead and put the legs in. I guess that's the wrong leg here. No, I'm not doing it wrong. I don't know if I'm doing it right. I think so? No. <laughs> One eternity later. Like this? Okay, let's just call that a win. And let's get the instructions. Uh -huh. And it looks like the instructions are pretty straightforward. Step one, we set up our potted plant with the rope. It doesn't tell us exactly how to rope it up. <coughs> I am not good at roping. Add soil, add the plant, and then rotate it. I'm not sure. So this in itself is not a resin project. I don't see the value of having something like this without any kind of skill-based project, I'm guessing. I personally don't see why I would pay $8.99 for a miniature craft that doesn't have anything that I can learn a skill from. But just putting soil and a piece of plant inside a mixture is very meh to me. I feel like, again, a lot of these things can be made from the dollar store or with clay that you can buy from the dollar store to make the base. So let's, let's just go ahead and make it. Oh, and by the way, for those of you wondering about this little newspaper thing, the headers are written in English. So in your bird era, join the bird watching club. And then the rest here is lorem ipsum type writing. So I think this is like font testing or filler type testing of words. But let's take our rope and unravel it. How much rope, I do not know, but from the image itself, it looked like we could use one continuous piece, but maybe that's just me. And I believe there was a knot somewhere over here. You know what? I could just put a knot. Jeez. I could just put a knot in here. Who's gonna, who's gonna stop me? There's no instructions. I could do what I want. I'm gonna put a knot right here, like a so. And then I'm gonna feed this, like a so. And then I could make another knot right here and then just go around. 
All right, stay tuned for that. And here it is. So welcome to the mess that is my brain. This made absolutely logical sense to me. Definitely not the right way to do it, but they didn't really show it. So I'm gonna stick to this reason. All right, let's bring this down and let's explore what we have over here for the dirt. That is a nice brown over here. And it looks like, let's pull this out. It does feel like kinetic sand. Look at that, it has tiny little pebbles in here. So we're gonna go ahead and floof it up. It feels like kinetic sand, look at that. It even separates like kinetic sand. It is a nice fluffy texture. So we're gonna floof it up. Some of y'all thought that maybe this has resin in it and we can harden it, but the answer is no. It doesn't have any kind of resin. It's not sticky, it's not liquidy in any form whatsoever. So I'm gonna just fluff it here and put it inside like so. I don't wanna make a hole and we're gonna put our plant like so and take the remainder of the soil and try to get it all the way around. I wanna make sure the pot stays, well the plant stays in place. And we're gonna take the trowel thingy and put it like a so. Hopefully this will be enough to compact, oh my goodness. That is not enough. The plant definitely wants to come out. So I think we're gonna have to spread the plant a little bit so that not all Oh gosh, of the weight is in one area. We had that issue with the previous kit where the plants had a hard time staying in. So I'm gonna keep trying to push it towards the base. I'm gonna keep trying to do that. And hopefully, hopefully this will work. There we go, it's like I'm a real gardener. I am not a real gardener. If anything doesn't make noise, I don't remember it exists and then it just dies on me. So plants are just not it. I need noisy pets and noisy housemates. <laughs> Voila, I think, I hope. Let's see if it's going to stay in place. We're gonna lift it up by the rope. And that, that looks sad. <laughs> that looks pretty sad. <laughs> I feel like we could have had more going on. This looks like a plant I was looking after. But let's hang it onto this. Oh, that is definitely not hanging enough. And my leg broke. <laughs> This project is not it. We just don't have enough instruction for it. I think it needed to be a little higher. And the leg, oh gosh, and there goes the plant. This is frustrating. You can see how deep I pushed that in. What if we take this out? Hang on, we're gonna try it. This is annoying. We had the same issue with the other one when it came to plants. Here's a little bit of how it went. <laughs> I think it's fine. <laughs> it's okay, don't worry, I got this. It's gonna be okay. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and put it on one side and we're going to take this and just push it in like a so. And the plant looks nicer when it's all dangling from one side. But yeah, this is not it. This is not it. <laughs> this is not it. <laughs> this is not it. Zero on 10 for this plant. It is frustrating on so many levels. It's just not staying. I feel like if we did have resin in there, maybe it would have been better at least to kind of harden it at the bottom and then put the soil. But no, they said no. They're not making me happy. I don't like this. It's very frustrating. <laughs> Let's hope for a bird project. And at first glance, we get, we can't tell if this is new or not. Let's pull this out. This is new. I think this is new. Yes, this is new, but it looks like we have another one with a plant. I think this is the bird of paradise. So let's just see what we get. The first thing that catches my attention is the flower. So let's take a closer look at this one. It is absolutely gorgeous. So in case you don't know what they look like, of course we're going to put the actual flower and what it looks like here on screen. But this looks absolutely unreal. It does look like a parrot, kind of like cockatoos with their little beaks. And then they have their little crests that stand on top. Really cute, here they are even side by side. You can't even tell them apart. This plant is really pretty, I like this. I like the fact that we even get a separate leaf over here. We have a vase. Again, this one says sunny blooms. And then here we have all the different names of the flowers that we could get. I, automatically, I see baby's breath. <laughs> I'm never gonna get over that. And we can see the shape of the actual vase. Let's take you out. So we have little floofs. And oh my goodness, that is, that is fluorescent. We have a bit of an orangey type vibe here and then pink vibe over here. Very fluorescent. It's like, oh my God, it is so shiny. I can't even look at it. And I'm guessing here is going to be the resin. And the answer is yes. So we have the same thing. We have water resin, which I've learned my lesson last time. So I'm gonna go ahead and sit on it to warm it up in the meantime. There you go. Listen, it's a way to warm things up. It works. Chickens do it all the time. <laughs> and down here is probably just the plier things and the legs. Yes? Okay. So let's get the instructions. Uh -huh. 
And similarly to the first one, we have to cut for the leveling of the items inside the vase, add the resin, and then harden it. Let's hold it this way. And I feel like we're gonna have to remove just this bottom bit, like a so. And how does this look? Oh yeah, very nice. Kind of want them facing opposite direction. Maybe like this, maybe something like this. I think this looks good. Not sure if that's how it's supposed to be, but I think aesthetically, this is the nicest, according to Jackie. And so here is our resin all warmed up. Let's see if that actually does help get it in there. And the answer is still not as much. Okay, but the instructions do say to fill it about halfway, which isn't much, but should be enough. I'm just gonna keep it upside down for a little bit because it is a thick type. She's thick, we're not here to judge her. All right, there we go. All right, so the first thing is the leaf here because I want it in the back. Next, I want this flower and then this flower like so. I don't want it to lean on the vase, kind of want it to hover together like this, there. And since I do have the option of luxury, I'm gonna go ahead and harden it this way. So we're gonna be back in two minutes to see what it looks like. A few moments later. And here's our bird of paradise all done. It barely fit into the display case, but taking it out of the display case, here's what it looks like in a little bit of close up. I do think it still looks nice in the display case, but it almost needs us to cut even more from the stem, but there's no space for us to cut more from the stem because then the plant will be touching too much of the vase. You tell me what you think. I still think it's pretty cute. At this point, I'm gonna be very honest. I want to make something that is not a plant. I would love to see at one of the bird projects. So I think I'm going to keep going and opening all of them until we get a bird project. Or if we don't, then that means I spent over $80 and we didn't get what we want, but we'll, we'll try anyways. And we have a plant, so we're not gonna do that one. Although part of me thinks that we should because it is a non-resin project, so it should be pretty quick, and it is a orchid, and I'm curious if it'll actually stand in place. You know what, let's just do this one. All right, first thing here we have, I noticed is the orchid plant, absolutely beautiful. Look at the bulb at the bottom here. Here's a close-up of the plant, very, very pretty. And I'm guessing here is our bowl, very nice. Oh, it's really divided down the middle. That is a really thick division. Does not look very nice. A little too thick on that side. Almost looks like the fish bowls that we got, but less nice. And then we have one and two mysteries. Anything at the bottom? Oh, what is that? Bamboo steak, okay. And this one's pretty heavy. So I'm guessing this could be the rocks. Okay, so we have one pack of jumbo rock mix. There's something else in here though. What is that? Oh, okay, we have two packs of the same thing. Two Jumbo Rocky mix. Okay, and next, I'm guessing this is just going to be the tweezers and the legs, and the answer is yes. And we also get this thing. Okay, instructions. Uh -huh. And this is what the end result should look like. It looks like we need that stick in order to make it hold each other. So step one, put the rocks. Step two, I don't know what this, this turny symbol means. I'm not sure. Step three, rotate? I don't know what step three is. Now feel free to check out the QR code here, but for me in Canada, it gave me some tutorials, but not even all the tutorials. It's almost like they didn't update it enough to actually match the products they have out because they can't even keep up with it. But let's put this together. And first things first, we're gonna get these rocks rocking it out. Like so, let's see. These are actual rocks. It's not like tiny foam or anything. These are legit tiny rocks. Listen to that. They're rocks. Let's put it in. That sounds good. Really? They don't want me to put the plant first? And now I'm curious about the dowel. Let's just pull the dowel out. Voila. And voila. And it looks like it needs to hook on to the plant like this. Now I feel like the rocks might have to go in later. So maybe we'll do this. Actually, there's no space. Okay, it is floating. We'll put a little bit like a so. I don't I don't know anymore. Grains, I don't know. I don't, I, it's holding itself. I don't think it needs rocks. But we're gonna keep putting the rocks until we do both packages until it fills up as much as possible. And here it is all done. It is cute. I have to say it is pretty adorable. It's a very simple project. Again, I don't see why it would cost me $9 to do that. And just for reference, it does not fit into the display box that it comes into. So it would have to be a standalone project. Here's hoping for a bird feeder. Please be different, you are. Mm. Oh, 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 
Wing things, wings, birds, yes! Oh my god, oh my god, this has gotta be birds, right? Please don't mislead, do not mislead me. Do not mislead me. Clearly there's gonna be a bird in here, cause, it, oh, it's a hummingbird. Okay, we have holes in here. We have a hummingbird and the nests. So here's a little carrier for our bird. My name is cute. Next here, we have a hummingbird feeder. So let's open it up and see what it looks like on the inside. Oh my goodness, it is adorable. I love the ornamental feel on this. So you can see we have little flowers and it looks like a glass painting all the way around. Red is a very invasive color though. I wish it were a different color, but otherwise really cute. And we have a bottom and top. So we're gonna see, oh, okay, is this the top or bottom? I think this is, I'm not sure. I think this is the bottom. I think it fits like this so that the liquid comes down for the birds to eat on. Okay, we're not gonna close it up yet. Next surprise we have, what are you? This is going to be the nectar, yes. It says wing things. And we have a little hummingbird over here. It says quality natural nectar. It's birdie good, very cute. Let's get a little closer on this. Hummingbird approved quality nectar. And I'm guessing in here is going to be the usual which is, yeah, the legs of the display and the little tong things. Let's find the instructions. Uh -huh. Here's what it looks like. And then on the other side, it tells us what we need to do. So there's two ways for us to harden it. Interesting. So the first thing we're supposed to do is actually harden the hummingbird to a flower and then harden, what? This is confusing. I'm a little confused. Am I doing this wrong? Okay, let's remove that. Let's take out our hummingbird. Let's open you up. I'm so excited for the hummingbird. Oh my goodness, look at this nest. It looks so real and it feels like Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Like little twine that has been turned into, oh my God, that is adorable, it's so tiny. Oh my goodness. Look at it compared to my thumb. That is so cute and small. I'm in love. <laughs> but that's cute, I love that, I love this. Okay, I think I understand. What they want me to do, glue the bird onto this so that the birdie is drinking like a saw. So we're gonna use our resin, and then we're gonna put a little bit of resin here so that this sticks to it permanently. It's not necessary, especially if the inside is hardened, but I can see why. So let's go ahead and do that. This is our nectar, and it's definitely going to be a clear resin. There's no reason for it to be any other color. And I'm going to use this display to put a little bit of the resin on top. Oh my goodness, that is, that is way liquidier than the other one. Okay, and I'm gonna take the burb's beak dunk it in there like a saw and I'm gonna put resin directly into the flower like this and this is where it gets a little complicated so I'm just gonna try and be quick about it I'm gonna put the burb like this and shine the light immediately in the hopes that it does harden and stay in place will it work I'm not sure if this is the right angle but I have my light going we'll see let's keep it there for a minute at least a few minutes later so it's been sitting there for about two minutes and yes the burb is nicely sitting right on there. Beautiful. Now I'm gonna do the same process and just put a little bit of that resin on the outer rim of the bottom part, harden that part, because again, they do want it to be a little bit more permanent. And then we're gonna take the remainder of the nectar, put it inside the full tube, and then go ahead and harden it. Now it does say that we're supposed to put the cap and then harden it, although I disagree. We're gonna harden it first and then put the cap. Since it's hardened, we don't have to worry about it leaking anywhere. And Ermi Kurd, how adorable is this bird feeder? I am just so happy that we finally did get a bird feeder. I thought I really was starting to lose hope on this. And I have to say for me, out of all the projects that we got, this is my absolute favorite. Just even the close up of it is very creative, very fun very dynamic because the bird is flying. So I can see wanting to spend on this particular project. The rest, not so much. But as you can see, here they all are on my desk. Which one of the ones that we did today is your favorite and why? The obvious least favorite one for me is for sure the hanging pothos. Pothos, pothos, pothos. I feel like these sets have so much potential, but if they want again to consult, I have so many. I have at least 30 to 40 ideas brewing in my head. So if they want to hire me as a consultant, they definitely can. If you want to watch more mini verses, make sure you check up here. No company has ever done it yet. Hire me. I'm a really good consultant. Or check down here for something different. Until then, I will see you greens in the next video. Here is our next one. Let's herb. And herb. It's herb. It's herb. It's herb for. It's her for bird feeders. <laughs>